In this video, I want to cover some of the most common questions I get about using NINSA indicators with the Predator X order entry tool. A lot of you are already combining both of these, so this is going to be more of a refresher. Plus, I'll share some bonus tips that did not make it into the last NINSA video. Also, a big shout out to the team at NINSA. They gave the Trade Saber community a big discount for all of their products. So if you guys were planning on grabbing some of their indicators anyways, make sure to use coupon code TRADESABER for an even bigger discount. But with that, I'm going to go over a few tips on how to automate these NINSA indicators using the Predator X order entry. So let's get into it. All right, first up, because I get a lot of questions about this specific indicator, I wanted to kind of go over it again. And that indicator is the multi time frame fusion from NINSA. And for some of you that have had the Predator for some time now and have tried to use this indicator in the past, you know we ran into some issues in the beginning because of this indicator's multi time frame ability. But all of those issues have been resolved. This indicator should work perfectly with the Predator now. So, how exactly does this indicator work? And it's actually really cool. Basically, the idea behind this indicator is to get confluence of one indicator in multiple time frames. So we'll take this one as an example. I'm just using a simple super trend, again, another NINSA indicator. And all it's doing in this scenario is it's looking at the super trend in the five minute, the 15 minute, and the 30 minute. When all of the super trends are in the same direction, that is when we get our entry signal right here. And as long as all of the super trends from all of our time frames are in the same direction, that's where you're going to get this blue zone. And then as soon as one of the super trends changes directions, and here's the five minute, and then it breaks them up, and then it's going to start looking for a new signal. And that doesn't happen until we get all of them in a line again. So here we got a quick short when all of them were in line, then last very long, and then we got another long up here. So that's all it is. It's just making sure the same indicator in multiple time frames is going in the same direction. And this, of course, doesn't have to be the super trend. I'm just using this one as an example. It can take pretty much any indicator that uses a plus one or minus one signals. So I believe pretty much any NINSA indicator or really any major indicator retailer for NinjaTrader. And yes, even my own free indicators that I have on my site, especially the ones in the last year or two, they have all been coded the same way. So you should be able to use any one of them with this multi time frame indicator. And just as an example, I'm going to go into the indicator properties. And this is what I mean. If you go to the bottom of your indicator, you will usually see some plots. And for this one, we're looking for the signal. Again, you don't have to do this part. I'm just coloring it in so we can see exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm just going to open up the data box. So here we're just going to go when our super trend turns to the short side, you can see that we get a minus one signal trend. And that's going to signify our short signal. Now, if we keep scrolling, until the super trend turns green, you're going to see a plus one, and that indicates our bullish signal. And that is exactly what we need to type into this multi time frame indicator. So now that we know how this indicator works, let's go over how to actually set it up. So all you have to do is if you have this NINSA indicator, you're just going to load it on the chart. And from your data series, you just select the time frame that you want this indicator to scan. So for this instance, I'm just doing a simple minute. I'm going to look at the five minute. So that is my default time frame. Then I'm also going to look at the 15 and the 30. And I'm just going to get rid of these other ones. You can do up to five different time frames, whatever you like. You can also do Ninsa Renko or King Renko's if you have them. That is, again, completely up to you. But once we have that, let's hit apply. And for this indicator, you don't need to have anything actually loaded on the chart. I just have it as a visual. But all you need to do in order to get your indicator, you have to click on this green box and this window will appear. So from here, you just type in the indicator that you want to use. In this case, again, it's just a simple super trend. Make sure you have the settings that you want. Make sure you select the correct plot. 
So in this case, we are using the signal trend and then the value of that signal. So plus one for bullish, minus one for bearish. Then just like it says, press F5. And I'm going to disable the strategy first. So once you refresh, everything should be good to go. It's going to plot your signals and you're going to see everything down in this lower panel. But now how do we automate this with the predator? And that is very simple. All that you need to do is gather the tag info for each one of these signals. And Ninsa makes this really easy. I'm just going to double click on one of the signals. So make sure you get the dots, double click, and you're going to get this window. Now for the predator, the information that we need is found right here on the tag. So we need to type in all of this right up to, but not including the number. So up to this period here, that is what we need to type into the predator. And the easiest way to extract this information is I'm just going to take a simple screenshot. So Windows Shift and S. I'm just going to highlight this area. And for many of you on Windows, you should have this ability, but you can just click on this button and it's going to extract all of this text. So you can just simply copy it. And now let's move on to the predator. So right click on the chart, go to strategies, predator, and this works on the trial or the lifetime version. And from here, we simply scroll down to the custom signal section under auto entries. And we're going to create an entry signal. Then we're just going to type in our tags. And remember, we do not include the numbers, but make sure you keep that period. And because both of these tags are the same, we're going to add a color identifier. And then we just have to match the same colors that Ninsa uses. So for their longs, they usually use a Dodger blue. And for the shorts, it's usually a hot pink, but always make sure the colors that you're using. And then just verify the object type. Ninsa by default uses text, so you shouldn't have to change this part. But if you're using another indicator, just make sure if you're not using text, change this to other object. But for this example, just keep it a text. And that is all that you need. And now you can customize your order or any other part of your strategy any way that you like with the Predator. So here, I'm just going to set up a simple ATR base stop, some auto quantity for my position size, maybe an ATR trail stop as well, and a couple profit targets. And then if you want a fully hands-off experience, you can also set any time limits that you want in here, any PNL limits, kill switches. You have all of those options right within the Predator properties. So however you want to customize this, completely up to you. But whenever you're happy with your strategy, uh, let me change that to a proper value. But as I was saying, whenever you're happy with your strategy, just hit that apply button, hit okay and we're going to enable the Predator. Now, before we start trading with the custom signal system, always, always, always verify with your validation system. So if we look at the top left here, we're going to see our long and our short signals. You're going to see the tag that we typed into the Predator. And if you see a check mark, you're good to go. That means it's reading that tag properly. If you see some sort of an hourglass, it means that tag has not been read yet. There's most likely a typo of some sort. So double check that tag. And in this case, because we're using the color identifier, you will also see that Dodger blue and that hot pink color on top of it. So if you see something similar like this, that means everything is good to go and we can start testing our strategy. So I'm just going to hit play here. All right, so here we got our first signal from this multi time frame indicator. The predator was able to read the signal and it executed our orders just like we defined. So I'm going to hit play again. And you can see it's going to start trailing down just like we defined. And 
You also have customization within the Predator. If you want it to go to break even, you have that button. If you want it to move the stop up, or you can move it down. You have all of that customization right within the chart reader panel. So let's just speed this up a little bit. And maybe we'll get stopped out. Maybe we'll keep going. This is just playback anyways. It doesn't really matter. And of course, you don't have to have a fully automated strategy. If you just let it go, it's just going to take every single entry. You can also set this to a semi-auto mode or just toggle it on and off and just toggle it back on whenever you want to actually take a signal that it creates. So all of those options are available to you right within the Predator Chart Trader panel. So this is how most of the NINSA indicators can be automated with the Predator. But I do want to go over one more point that a lot of my members seem to go through with some of the newer NINSA indicators. So let's go over there. All right, so this one is just going to be a final little quick tip when it comes to some of the newer NINSA indicators. Because again, I get this quite a bit, is when you load an indicator, you're going to see some of them may not have these clickable signals that we need in order to automate with the Predator. So I think some of the more popular NINSA indicators like Cosmic, uh, I think Solar Wind, and, and for this example, I'm using their newest Super Jump Boost. There could be other ones as well, but these are the ones I see the most often. So I just kind of wanted to cover how to actually automate this style of indicator. So again, NINSA makes it very, very easy to do this. It's actually an option right within the indicator itself. We just have to enable it. So inside that NINSA indicator, if you see that your signal is not clickable, you just have to scroll down to, I believe it's the alert section in all of them, but it could differ from indicator to indicator, but all you're looking for is the marker rendering method. You're going to change this from custom and you're going to change it to built in. And that is all you have to do. Just hit apply. And now if you go into the indicator, you should be able to select that signal. So double click on that. And we're going to do the same steps we just did in order to extract that tag. So we just get that tag. Let's go back into the Predator. And we're just going to swap this one out because we still have the previous one loaded. And remember, we do not add the numbers. So once we have that, let's hit apply. Let's hit enable. And we verify in our validation system, everything is good. We're going to turn on our auto entries. And let's just play it, see if we can get another signal here. All right, so here we got our signal from NINSA. The Predator, again, was able to pick up that signal and enter your trade with any order management that you have selected. So that is how we can use these NINSA indicators with the Predator X. For more information, I do have an older, more in-depth video that goes over these NINSA indicators a little bit more. And on top of that, I also have a full user guide explaining how the custom signal system works. So make sure you guys check it out if you plan to use these. And lastly, our friends over at NINSA did give us a big discount if you use Trade Saber at checkout. So if you're planning on using these indicators anyways, make sure to use that. It'll help you guys save a little bit more. But I think I'm going to cut the video here. I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, take care. Enjoy.